Hi everybody, Dave Yelvick with Homes Built Right. The 2023 National Electric Code is out. There's three big changes for you residential people in this book that we're going to cover. And in this next video, we're going to talk about islands. Wow, have things changed. Stay tuned. The 2023 National Electric Code, specifically Section 21052C2, talks about island and peninsula countertops and work surfaces. And what we're going to just dive into is, what about that kitchen island? A lot's happened over the past six years. If you've been around a while, you know that every three years the code books change. Back in 2017, the National Electric Code said, hey, all you're required to have is one outlet at a kitchen island. No matter how big, it could be a giant massive thing, 100 square feet. Technically, you only needed one outlet. So then they said, hey, we know islands are getting bigger. So they said, hey, in the 2020 National Electric Code, they, they came out with a formula. This formula, oh, for the first nine square feet, then for every 18 square feet thereafter, you got to have more and more and more. So that made sense, right? You got, got lots of lots of island, you need lots of outlets. Well, again, from 2017 to 2020, now we're in the 2023. And guess what? Yes, that, that's right. No, no, zero, zero outlets are required at an island or a peninsula according to the 2023 National Electric Code. Let's take a look at really where that cam comes from. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the actual words that the National Electric Code gives us. Section 21052C2 talks about something totally different. And the words say this, right behind me here. If, if a receptacle outlet is not provided, so they're saying right off the bat, hey, you don't have to put an outlet there. So if you don't put one in there to serve an island or peninsula or countertop or the work surface, provisions must be provided at the island or peninsula for the future addition of a receptacle outlet to serve the island or peninsula or countertop or work surface. Those are the exact words from the code book. So if you have an island or a peninsula in a, in a kitchen, you're not required to put an outlet there, but it, what you are required to do is I could imagine uh, opening up an island in the kitchen. If I don't see any outlets on it, there's going to be a junction box in there perhaps. And from there, someone could add some uh, outlets later on in, in the future. So that's what they're talking about. They're talking if you have something. So see, we, we've, come, we've come light years ahead from 2017 where they said, in, two cycles ago saying, hey, you need one outlet at, a, at an island. And then last code cycle, just three years ago, they said, oh, you might need lots of outlets at an island. And now they're saying, really, you don't need outlets. But if you have an, out, if you have an island, you shall at least have provisions for future outlets for people to hook up later. So that's it. Kind of, kind of, a, kind of a, a mind boggling kind of thing. Texas is going to the 2023 NEC in September 1st of 2023. So look for this in Texas. Those of you adopting it, watch for it. There's some more that I, uh, in the, my next video, watch for this one. We're going to talk about outlets and kitchens. And on this island, if you do have an island and you do want to put outlets on it, there's all sorts of new rules on that too. And we're going to touch on that on the next video. Hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you on the next video from Homes Built Right. So long, everybody.